Hello everybody, welcome back to this YouTube channel. My name is Julia and in today's clip we are gonna test out and review these reusable cotton organic bamboo pads and literally I bought them over off Amazon and I found them on offer and I got them a while ago really. This is highly me reviewing them. However, Black Friday is around the corner so I don't find it hard to believe you might as well find them on offer by the time, you know, I'm pretty sure Amazon already has offers on, on literally half of their stuff right now because they usually have offers earlier. Anyways, that doesn't count. That doesn't matter. I've got these ones from Amazon. I just wanted to switch. I still am in the, in the process of switching just because I still have um, the non-reusable ones backed up i am personally someone who's crazy i don't i hate but hate not having the stuff that it's a necessity as a backup and obviously i i need to finish those things out the non-reusable ones however i'm gonna show you today how this work if they are good explain to you i don't know what i feel about them really so without any rambling anymore let's jump in to show you how things are going inside so unfortunately mine came a bit like punched i really don't like that these have loads of 20 re re 20 reusable pads i'm pretty sure this was retailing for 12 pounds full price let me check and i think i paid seven on offer which is a pretty good damn deal these are expensive obviously you reuse them that's why because you're gonna keep them almost forever yes i paid seven pounds and they retail for 13 pounds again they are on offer so i it might be a thing that is ongoing and you know you know those uh, brands who say this is on offer but in reality it never was on offer they just priced up the real price I'm not quite sure if they are doing the same, but it sounds pretty damn good to me. Seven pounds for 20, because I know sometimes they're like uh, 10 pounds, 10 of them. So yeah, this is how they look like. And if I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be real. I use these ones already, a few of them. Not on a daily basis, but once. So you can see here one downside, which again, I was expecting this they remain stained unfortunately they remain stained after you wash them they give you this bag of just putting the ones that you used i actually used one in here but only one for the purpose of a video or something like that it doesn't matter these ones are clean squeaky clean and they are still stained but it doesn't bother me because realistically speaking from what i've seen from everybody whether it was like an expensive brand or an affordable brand doing these if they are white they're gonna be stained so moving on to the actual ones i never used you can see they are extremely white they are massive compared to the uh, regular cotton pads they are actually massive i was trying to look for one but i don't have any they are massive they are not as big as the oval pads i use myself from um super drug but i mean they're almost there i did not notice that they are almost there you can see it's a quite big one it's not like the regular tiny rounded ones so that's good because personally i was very surprised of the sizing obviously these are already washed don't take them out from the packaging and straightforward use them like just don't please let's jump in to my micellar water i'm using this garnier oil, oil infused cleansing water and yeah i'm not quite sure why i'm shaking you the one thing i noticed with these guys is they eat a lot of your micellar water but then again it's a huge pad and you can use both the the both of the surfaces if that makes sense and now let's see my lipstick if it's gonna take it off these are actually so gentle to your skin like i was freaking out that they might be harsh but i think they're <laughs> the the actual regular ones you know the 
non-reusable ones are even more like uh, just harsh to your skin these are so soft like so soft I'm not quite sure if in general these are soft but this particular brand is soft and don't get me wrong this is the outcome and this is like the outcome of after washing them when they look like this so they don't remain hugely like you know horribly stained but I yeah they remain stained or maybe there's a technique that I have no clue how to unstain them but literally what I did is just put them in the in their bag in the washing machine along with my clothes and that was pretty much it I did remove a lot with only one side and now I'm gonna remove again a lot with the other side obviously because i already tried them i knew i i like them like i'm just gonna be honest okay uh i don't like pretending like oh my god this is a first impression when in reality it's not because i was impatient to try them out on camera as a first impression at least these ones when it comes to makeup and stuff uh that's not an issue but these i don't know i just really wanted to see if they are good and i bought them in the summertime and we are almost in December. I'm gonna put these because it's easier to keep my hair. Make sure I'm going around my roots. But I removed pretty much the surface, the big surface of the foundation, which is only one pad, which is quite impressive if you ask me. Because like I said, I'm just gonna put the dirty one here. Obviously the oval ones, they are big, but the general rounded pads that pretty much everybody buys, because actually I don't know why people buy that, because the bigger the better. These are so good when it comes to that, so I'm just gonna take another one and remove my eyes. This is what I've done the moments I've tried them and remove my eyes and then take another one and see if there's any residue left onto my skin. So now I'm just gonna press, not hardly obviously, but oh, I have a very hard to remove mascara. So I'm gonna be very gentle. Yeah, see, I'm very sensitive around my eyes and I find the non-reusable pads to be extremely harsh these do not do that and i'm very happy like literally that's so good and you can even make them like tiny i always do this and go around where i see still mascara and very gently just rub but not harshly like be gentle but with these guys i find it so hard to be harsh with your eyes so now on to the next one right so i did soak this little guy in a lot of micellar water and now let's see i still have stuff i can see like can you see it looks like i'm clean but i'm not i guess one downside is when they are stained is that you don't you don't see at the end of your uh, removing process if you removed properly every single bit of makeup that's one thing but again, I did not research if there's a way to remove the stains. At the same time, I've seen pretty much the majority of people have that issue. So yeah, for me, it's not necessarily a problem. I have plenty unstained. At the same time, if you're like myself and you at least once a week, uh, washing is fine to, you know, wash the ones that are already stained and keep a few ones that are white by the end of removing the makeup just so you can tell if you removed everything from your skin so uh, i hope that makes sense but again it doesn't bother me because i've seen everybody actually has this issue i've seen they are like in black as well removable pads so i guess if if you already have black ones you don't see makeup on them <laughs> anyway so yeah i guess um, yeah that's a good point actually they do remove your makeup extremely well like literally like any other uh, non-reusable cotton pad they are extremely soft at least these ones from the brand green greensla greensla these ones from the brand greensla that you, i found them myself on amazon they are extremely great very very soft 
I don't have any issues. I think personally the only times I will see myself reaching out for the uh, non-reusable ones is when I do like Halloween makeup that tends to have a lot of painting. I do not do that much Halloween this year, but I will definitely see myself reaching out in the future um, to non-reusable ones for that uh, case scenario. I think this is so cute for the earth as well to make sure, you know, we are trying to be as sustainable as possible. Again, I'm not like the most, I wouldn't call myself like I'm sustainable, but I realized I should do something at least when it comes to my day-to-day -day makeup and try these ones out. Again, they are so good. They're actually so good. And I'm very happy that extremely, extremely nice around my eye area because I struggle with that part. I'm very happy. If you're skeptical like myself, let me just take these guys out. If you were skeptical like myself, I definitely suggest trying them out. I thought they're not gonna be as good as the, you know, the ones that you toss in the in the trash. And I was definitely 100% wrong. They are actually even nicer. I said that a billion times. I don't think there's any necessity to repeat myself. I really like them. They do have some negatives, but overall, I think they are beautiful. They are not wasteful. Uh, they do the job. They are just nice. And it saves you coin as well. Like I know, is you know, the non-reusable ones they are not that expensive, but it still saves you money. It still saves you money and it saves you time to go to the shop and buy these guys when you run out except if you're like me and you always have backups if you're like me then yeah uh, that's not gonna be ever a um, situation but you know some people are not like myself so yeah this is pretty much from me for today i'll see you hopefully within the next one subscribe definitely like this video if it was by any means useful and relevant and let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna purchase these ones and you will decide to make the switch and be eco-friendly really. But yeah, bye!